it's Stardew Valley time again. Yeah. Yes, it is in fact time to to dick around on blue pastures. Yes. Uh oh. Also, I wanted to mention. So, I've been playing this a lot lately. Uh, in my off time, I, I on my saw. own, on my own save file. I also I found out this game's on phones. What? It's on phones. What? Yeah. I actually bought it. It's like six bucks. I said, fuck it. Why, why not? I love a farm on the go. Uh, wow. The controls are really weird. I'll, I'll tell you that. Like, I feel like until you would get used to them, there's a lot of like, I tapped on the wrong thing and I didn't mean to do that going on. Okay. Like, I almost want to say I feel, I feel like you'd be better off if you had like... If you had decided to basically add like one of the virtual analog sticks or D-pad, uh, uh -huh. and, and like an action button, um, and one of the other things I'd probably add is if you would want to tie like tap on your hat, uh, uh, a hot bar, you know, the one that's like at the bottom of the screen or at the top in this case, but like at the top or bottom of the screen, like this thing, if if mm -hmm. uh that had been like you tap on that in the mobile version and it pauses the game while you select what tool you want quickly wow. you know that would that i think would have been a much better solution to like oh yeah i'm, I'm do to do away with with the hoe and then i plant something and then i'm like all right i tapped the, I, I hit the wrong thing and now that the seeds back up again whoops now what mm -hmm. um Ooh, got some growth going on here. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, it's Granny. Go ahead, talk. Talk, Granny. Hello, dear. I know you just came started as a gardener. I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When spring arrives, your spring crops will all die out. So plan ahead. Granny Evelyn. I'm just gonna cast my line here. Don't you ignore it. Uh, what don't I have? I don't have my watering can. My watering can. So if you have a spring crop with like one day left in its growing cycle, it will instantaneously just die. Yes. Everything that's planted in spring, or that grows in spring, instantly dies the minute the next day in, uh, in, in like, summer rolls around. It's all gone. So, for, like, the last five days, you can't plant anything? Uh, depends. Plants all have different growth rates. Are there any, like, two-day growth rates? I don't think so. I think five is probably... No, four. Four is one of the shortest. Um, parsnips mm. grow in four. Um, I do want to hold on to one of the cauliflowers because I know there's a quest that comes up for that. So it's best for you to plant so that things are sprouting on... I mean, like, or fully grown on the final day of spring. Or continually growing. Um, like the green beans we picked up, those will keep growing. Um, those are a multi-season? No, 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 no. I mean, like, they'll keep producing stuff, like, every so many days. Like, you won't have to replant these at all. They'll just keep but popping But what happens in summer? They, oh, they die in summer. Like, they'll be gone. Oh, no, no, that's what I was getting at. So you need to plan so that your spring crops are fully bloomed at the final day of spring. I, well, by then. I mean, most of them will grow well within that timeline. Like, I think okay. one of the, the... There is one plant I can think of offhand that uh, takes the entire season to grow. But most of them will be done within the first, what, maybe... I think 12 days is one of the longest. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying for, like, maximum efficiency... Yes. 
Yeah, but you just planned it so that I feel like, okay, this is going to bloom on the last day, so I can harvest this and not, like, waste any space. I mean, like, we got a lot of space, man. I mean, you know. Yeah. You're, we're not, we're not hurting for space over here. Are there any multi-season plants? Yes. Um, I don't remember if there's more, but I know of one that in my other save I'm I'm got right now, and I think I'm nearing the end of summer. But uh, we can get corn. Corn is a multi-season. Summer and fall it'll grow for. And that one just keeps producing every so many days. So once it's grown the first time, you're good. It'll just keep popping okay. out more corn. I have a question for you. Shoot. Do you do you consider corn a vegetable or a grain? I mean, why not both? Like I just irritating you now. <laughs> what? I said am I just irritating you now with that line? <laughs> no, no. Not really. Not really. I've had enough irritating stuff happening in the past two days that not many things irritate me. Uh, I still need fiber. Was it 20, I think? Yeah, yeah. it was. Alright, cool. Scarecrow! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Alright. Mm. So here's here's the one good thing I will tell you because you you're interested in Abby. Abby is yeah. probably one of the easiest girls to fucking I guess seduce or however you want to call it. Are you to, calling to charm. my Abby easy? Uh, I mean, yes. <laughs> Mostly because one of her favorite gifts is the easiest thing in the world to get. What? She likes Amethyst, and it's one of the easiest things, at least in, to me anyway, because it constantly seems to drop in, like, the mines and stuff. Oh. And Amethyst is purple, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Just like her hair. Mm-hmm. Like... It, I feel like it's a joke for this game where it's like you're trying to convince a girl uh, like say Abby that you know oh cool slimes uh, that like oh man I'm the greatest here's a gift and you give her like what you're allowed to give two gifts a week I think yeah two gifts a week so you try and give her your gifts and it's like I've just been giving her Amethyst because it's the easiest thing to get and she loves it I feel like there's just like a dragon's horde of Amethyst somewhere in, like, her room, just sitting there. <laughs> um, I will also mention this, because this, this is a thing I can, I can talk about. Um, I, I am noticing, even in the beginning, with some of the updates that they've added, for instance, one of the, uh, I think it's at two hearts, if I remember correctly, one of the events you get with Abby, once you get, like, two hearts on her, is definitely, I feel, different than when I first played. Like, a whole new mode has been added to work with. Oh! Hey, Abby. I, we weren't talking about you or anything. I'm uh, taking a break from work. The trees look nice today, don't they? Spending time in nature is, so, it's, uh, is very rewarding. Uh, this is still 2,000, yeah. I definitely want to get that backpack ASAP. Uh, and cinnamon berries don't sell for much. Uh... Oh, crikey, Mr. Neva! I heard you have eyes for my daughter! <laughs> hey, stop that! Yuck! I'll dig in the trash if I want to. Nobody's gonna stop me! Oh! Oh my god, I just remembered this. So, about like. eight, ten years ago, I was changing the trash at work at my job, and I, I saw this girl from high school who I 
really haven't seen in like I think it was like iron. six iron. years at the time, and I'm like, oh look at you! I'm like, if you were with your boyfriend, like, like I give you a little hug, and she goes, uh, I wouldn't let you anyway, since you're in trash, and I'm just like, oh. You got me there! You should have jumped into the trash container and did some like, I'm the trash man. <laughs> and slowly lo like sink inside of it while lowering the lid on top of yourself. <laughs> I, I'm not too sure if always, when Always Sunny started. Mm-hmm. So that joke might not have been in the public knowledge. Joke? I thought that was just real life. <laughs> or is this just fantasy? Caught in the landslide. No escape from reality. No escape from reality. Give me more salmon berries. They taste like salmon. Huh. So would that be more raw salmon, like sushi, or would that be like the cooked salmon? I don't know. I'm just guessing because it's called that, but it's probably just because of the color. Yeah. A springtime berry with the flavor of the forest. So it tastes like bark and dirt. <laughs> Maybe some poop in there for good measure. Oh my god. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting swimes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on out, so, you little diglet. So I heard Space Jam 2 is still coming out later this year. Uh, last I was aware of, yes. Ooh, I am. So, the, so that's interesting that they're going to, like, bring back a, like, what is it at this point, like, 25-year-old movie for a sequel? I guess. I mean, it's not like people don't love it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I love Space I, Jam, even if it is just a giant, like, uh, Nike commercial. Or I guess Air Jordan commercial. Yeah, yeah. You need the shoes, man. Gotta be like Mike. I just wonder what kind of, like, brandy Space Jam 2 will have. Oh, hey, look. There it is. Ooh, Amethyst. As soon as I make space, I'll pick it up. You need it. There we go. All right. Um, Let's get rid of this. And I don't need that. There it is. Amethyst. Uh, Abby, you will soon be mine. You're talking real, uh, real dark. Th what the heck happened? Uh, oh, I see what happened. I did a dumb. You clicked off. What's that? Yeah, I, I, that's exactly what happened. I clicked off of this of, of this thing. Is that some kind of like, giant bug me? Yeah, you, I've been picking it up for a while now. You're only just noticing? Mm, yes and no? It's like, I may have not, like, realized you picked it up and, like, thought about it, but... But we can make a bug steak. Huh. <laughs> Come on, it's very, it's full of protein, man. That's good stuff. What? I'm an adventurous eater. How adventurous are you? I mean, I've eaten bugs before. Really? L like, like dried bugs with, with seasoning on? Yes. Or like, oh. Yep. I've also had like the candy that had a, a I think it was a, Scorpion or something in it. Hmm. I think it was a scorpion lollipop, actually, specifically. Uh huh. So how is, like, a savory bit in the lollipop? 
What do you mean? Like the just the, the scorpion itself? Yeah. Dry and crunchy. Ah. Uh, I mean, much like the flavored bugs are. Mm. Mm. Like I mean, the chocolate colored ones and cheese covered ones when it came to like grasshoppers. The chocolate covered oh. ones are way easier to deal with as far as eating goes, just because you know, you don't gotta, you don't gotta worry too much about like uh, swallowing dry uh, stuff. Okay. But uh, no, the um, the cheese ones, while tasty, like tasty, um, mostly because the cheese covers up any kind of like bug taste. You're still dealing with like the little crunchy bits that are getting stuck in your teeth and like caught mm. on the back of your throat because it's dry. So is it kind of like a sunflower seed flavor? Mm. I, again, it's hard to say because the flavor gets masked pretty well, I think, with the seasoning. Huh. So, like, I barely taste the fact that it's a bug. There's really just, like, a dry aftertaste, and that's about it. Huh. Because, like, I'm willing to try bugs. But I don't know if any, like, besides the internet, like, any easily accessible places in 2021 that I can get them. Um, I'm, like, 90% sure if you ever went to, like, a Discovery Center, they'd probably have them there. Oh! Because, like, within, like, the, uh, um, souvenir shop or something. Huh. Like, they're definitely, ooh, what is this? A wooden club. 96 damage versus... That's just better than what we got. I'll take it. I'll toss it's that one. It's level two. It's level two. It does more damage. I'll take it. You wouldn't believe me if I told you I was running with, like, a level three sword through the mines until, like, level 70 or something. I got all the way to level 70 running with a level three sword. How? Because I was just good. I got good. Aww. Yeah, I I saw you've been playing this game a lot because whenever I'm on, it seems that I see the little Steam notification that oh, the Jerry is playing Stardew Valley, and I'm like, I mean, I've been enjoying it. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how much fun I have with this game. It's just, yeah, it's just a matter thinking, of planning everything. I was thinking, did last week kind of reinvigorate the spark? It reminded me of the game, because I, I had not played it for a while. Big bug. Mm. Give me that delicious so, bug. are you still playing Fake Go? Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, uh, have you, how far have you gotten in that? Uh, I've just event? beaten the third story arc. I mean, of the boat of the current. Have you have you not gotten to um, the have you gotten to the first lady? I I've gotten to the third the third section of that. So Midib. Oh, Mave. Maybe. Um, alright, alright. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, once you meet the first lady, you will be able to, uh, fight. Actually, you'll get Chloe. You'll get Chloe. She'll be out of your team. Um, and then you'll be able to fight the, uh, the magical gentleman, because that just unlocked, I think, last night at 8 o'clock. A magical gentleman. Yes. By the way, here's a cherry bomb. We have explosives now. Okay. There's also this guy. <laughs> That's how dwarves talk now, I guess. <laughs> I 
anything else you want to add? <laughs> that there's apparently, you know, not humans in this that can talk to us? I was really expecting to get more of a reaction out of you about that. I don't really have much to say. <laughs> I want a backpack so bad, and we should get one tomorrow. Yeah! We finally have more than ten spaces. Woo! Twelve spaces. And I fully did hear what you said. What was it? What? We said that I, you expected a bigger reaction. A bigger reaction out of the fact that, like, we're talking to someone that's not human. Uh. <gasps> Look at that. Well, we, we're dealing with slimes. Yeah, but I mean, this thing's, like, sentient and talking. Hmm. Well, next on the next episode, we will be getting a backpack. Finally. Backpack, backpack. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do the Door of the Explorer backpack song. <laughs> uh, it'll make managing inventory far easier. <laughs>